I'm gonna try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go for it. Tana Narivo, or just Tana as some folks call it, this is Madagascar's capital and largest city with a population of around 1.5 million. A huge mix of people, cultures, and food. Malagasy cuisine has been influenced by Southeast Asia, Africa, China, and Europe. Rice is the cornerstone of the Malagasy diet, but street food here goes well beyond just rice. Oh, they got sausages? I want sausages for sure. <laughs> Today, Madagascar native Joel joins me as we hunt down Tana's diverse street food scene. It's like candy. Sweet Madagascar. <laughs> From super simple street food costing just a few cents. This is cost 100 ari ari. 20 cents, baby? Yeah. To Tana's sweltering hot kitchen. It is hot yes. in here. Can I get you a Gatorade? I'll try eating like a local in one of the city's biggest open air cafeterias. You can make friends while you eat. Hi. <laughs> or not. And for dessert, Madagascar's famous zebu skewers. What's a zebu? <laughs> You're gonna find out. Huh. So close your 47 open internet tabs and focus. Today we're taking on street food in Madagascar's Antananarivo. Today we've arrived bright and early at one of Antananarivo's most popular street food stands, just before the crowds begin to swell. What is behind us here? You can see just right behind here, Salesi is like really known on making those fried banana. I can see he's taking the banana, he's peeling it, throwing it in this big bin of batter. Is it rice flour? Mixed. Mixed. Yes. Along with fried bananas, fried vegetables, sliced green onions combined with the same rice and wheat flour batter. He can hardly keep the display case full. There's so many people coming. He just started and already people know. They know maybe part of their routine. <laughs> and uh, they're here to eat. Fried bananas come in either the standard size or the ultra huge VIP size. Hey ladies, do you want some VIP bananas? I have the normal one and it's okay. I mean. That's what I can't. Uh, <laughs> Look how big it is, though. <laughs> you can't finish. It's too much for you to handle. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, oh, these aren't even mine. I need to give these back. <laughs> okay, bye. I think we can just get the normal size ones because good things come in small packages. So yeah, I think we just asked that lady and she yeah. said, yeah, she preferred the smaller one. Yeah, I think a lot of ladies, uh, people prefer like the smaller banana. It's fine. So. Can we order now? When people order here, it's like, I wanna have 10, I wanna have 20, I wanna have 50. Let's do 10 of each, 10 bananas, 10 vegetables. Okay. Here we have the green onion with this batter caked on. Some people put sauce on this though, right? Oh, so there's a no, sauce. Chili vinegar sauce. Can you load me up? Yes. Okay, yep. Here we go. Oh. That is a lot of spice and a lot of salt. Man, my mouth is on fire. Didn't expect that one. And you don't like spicy food at all. I love it. It's a little salty, a little too salty. I overdid it. But the flavors are so fresh, so delicious, and very spicy. Here we have the banana. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Oh, lordy, that is nice. I want to tell you something before we're going to eat it. When I'm not saying anything after this, don't blame on me because when I'm enjoying something sometimes, I just like want to create a new word, like, okay, it would be good to have this on the beach or something like that. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. Mm. Is the banana hot or I'm still burning? It's warm and it's activating the spice in your mouth. You're pretty new with spice, huh? <laughs> Just a nice texture, a little bit crunchy, but very pillowy, soft breading on the outside. It's like milky as well on the side. Milky. I don't... Mmm. What do we got here, man? Here we have all of the different snacks that people are used to eat, mainly for brunch. What are some of the most popular street foods in Tana? It's the barbecue. Mm. Yeah, so people really like to have that in the evening before they go home. Are we getting barbecue at some point today? Yes. What is this one? This is a donuts. Fried donuts. Yes. That looks good. This is a crepe. Crepe. What about this? A coconut candy. Can we try this? Yes. 
Why is it like this fluorescent bright pink? Normally it's supposed to be a white color. Is it just food coloring? Yes, to give a different look for the candy. That really reminds me of the Philippines. They do that too. Quite, quite diet, bright orange, even though it has no effect on the flavor. Let's go for it. Oh, it's like candy. Sweet Madagascar. <laughs> this is so sweet. It has that firm coconut sugary texture. I love it. Do you want one? Hey, enjoy. <laughs> okay, bye. We've just wandered into this insane kind of open-air cafeteria. This place is busy. It's lunchtime right now. It's always busy like this since uh, on breakfast in the morning, lunch, except dinner. What kind of food are they serving here? Mainly everything is based on rice with some beans or zebu or chicken, pork. You know how much it is per plate? Everybody can pay for it because it's like roughly around 3,000 ari ari. Okay, so like so $1. Dollar. 70, 80 cents. Less yeah. than a dollar for yeah, lunch. Yeah. Man, how are you doing? Can I give a brief pound? Boom. What are you eating today? Oh, they got sausages. I want sausages for sure. <laughs> Joel insists that I can't only eat sausages for lunch. So we're also getting some chicken, fried greens, baked beans, and white rice. I've created kind of a volcano with my rice, and my beans are gonna go there. Oh, yeah. Get in your home, beans. Scoop it up. Do you want to eat a piece of rice while I eat my delicious beans? If I can take the green leaves too. Oh, yeah. Green everything is all yours. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go for it. Man, rice and beans are like best friends. When the bean gravy soaks into the rice, it's all saturated and salty. Mm. We've got sausage. It's a uh, zebu. Zebu and maybe a little bit of filler. A little sausage, a little bean, a little oil, some rice. This is a bite from heaven right here. Let's go for it. <laughs> mm. I like the sausage. It's a little peppery, salt, and just kind of fatty. Mm, sausage is always a good bet. Is this style of eating different in Tana than like other cities? The capital and it's always so busy. People are much more in rush down here. Yeah, you can definitely feel that. It is mad action in here. Some people are curious about the camera. Some people are not a fan at all. There's a whole wide range of reaction. Next up, one of the hottest restaurants in town, famous for this. I call it a Malagasy taco. Fried bread filled with local favorites, and it can only be found here. Before the doors open, we get a glimpse of the making process, starting with the veggie salad. Ma'am, what is the best side that goes with the barbecue? To mix all of it together, so like the salad and the paku paku, I should say all of those mix uh, will get the unique taste they have here. Awesome. We got meat skewers. What kind of meat is this? A zebu. Zebu is a type of cattle originating in East Africa and brought to Madagascar a few hundred years ago. This tall, fatty back lump makes them stand out in a herd, and their meat is coveted all over the island. They are mixing it with some garlic, ginger. Yeah, the smell of garlic and ginger back here is yeah. so intense. Right here, another yes. preparation before dinner time. What is it called? Paku paku. Paku paku. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. First, she's gonna put in a bunch of oil on her rice flour, and then coming up next, coconut milk. Coconut milk. She's preparing eight kilo of flour. Mm. For that, she needs almost one liter of oil to mix with it. She might finish ten liter of coconut milk to wow. mix it well. After the dough is thoroughly kneaded, it's portioned out into these balls and allowed to rest. Oh, that one's done. Should we do a thumbnail? Can you look really surprised? It's, oh, that's good. It's for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if she knows what a thumbnail is. Next, the dough is flattened and tossed in hot oil, bubbling up into this beautiful masterpiece. It is hot yes. in here. Can I get you a Gatorade? Yeah. Yes, he accept. He accept? Okay, I'll, I'll be back with a Gatorade later. While they're preparing dinner service, Joel and I are on the hunt for more food. So we're walking down the street. We stumbled upon my man here. He has some kind of bread. We call it Malagasy bread. So it's mainly based on rice, rice. flour. Okay, I'll take one. Oh, then, okay, she'll take one. Amazing looking texture. Kind of sopping in oil still. And that's not sugar, that's salt. All right, let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, man. My little Malagasy salty donut. Just oh super God. oily. Very dense. Look at this beautiful white color. Bready, oily inside. How many of these would you usually eat? Just quick snack? Let's say I can grab four or five. Mm. That's perfect, sir. Very yummy. Machido, machido.
The street food fun continues right behind us. Basically a fried chicken restaurant. Is that yes. right? Here you have all different ways to cook chicken in this street. People are coming here can have chicken soup or just fried chicken. On the bottom there's the noodle option. And then in this window, like the whole chicken head. They use yes. everything. I see liver over there. And you can see, man, these are some of the most kind of lean drumsticks you will ever see. Super thin. So like the one we can see here, it's a zebu mouth salad. Zebu what? Mouth. Mouth? Yeah. It's the mouth of the zebu? Yes. Oh, why the mouth? Like the lips? Not lips, like really the, the mouth. Oh, yeah. Sounds refreshing and scary a little bit. <laughs> Joel recommends the chicken noodle soup, some drumsticks, and my childhood favorite, zebu mouth salad. Okay, hold on, mouth. Can you show me the picture? Yeah, that's a mouth. Uh, they okay. put a little nose in there too, a little bit of everything. It's kind of the muzzle of the cow. So why don't we try that salad first? It's a nice, refreshing hey, salad. Zebu. Zebu of the cow. I'm sorry, did I say cow? Yes. It's not at all a cow, it's no, a zebu. It's a zebu. It's not even a zebu cow. Just a zebu. When you mix a cow and a zebu, is it a z cow or a cowboo? What's cuter? Cowboy. Oh, there's green bell peppers, there's onion. Oh, it smells like some vinegar. Actually, this smells really good. Let's try it out. Mmm. It's well cooked. Mm -hmm. I think they maybe even put some lime on there. Nice fresh peppers, good taste of onion. And the cheeky part, the mouth muzzly part, was a bit just gelatinous. I do like it. Mm. Chicken legs. Now, what kind of chicken is this? A sportive chicken. Sport, for cockfighting or something. Yeah. It's been hanging out in the window for a while. Much tougher, but I still like the flavor. How much is a, each leg? Do you have any idea? Cow. So you can get about 20 legs for around $5. That's a good deal. They have this great chicken stock and some noodles. You just go for it. Is there any special combo or do we put uh, anything in there? Many people are putting eggs on it, cut into, and then you take the yellow part. Mix that with the broth. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, and now it's nice and cloudy. That looks pretty good. Let's take a big bite. Noodles, some broth. Let's yep. go for it. Mmm. It was really yummy. The broth, super simple, just salty, chickeny goodness. Good old fashioned chicken noodle soup. My favorite is actually probably the mouth salad. That's what you like the most? Yeah, it's very refreshing. I agree. Finally, the time has come. We are heading back to the Zebu restaurant and I am keeping my promise. Zhu, you? you remember me? Yeah. Oh, wait, okay. Wow, he's so focused, he won't even take his delicious Gatorade. Remember when I said I would give you a Gatorade and then I did? Oh, guys, here we go. The first moment tasting Gatorade in this hot, sweltering kitchen. Oh, I'm told this is his first time having cool, refreshing Gatorade. Thank you, Gatorade, for the sponsorship. It's time for what I call Malagasy tacos. Zebu skewers, vegetable salad, and fried bread. Time to eat. What even is this? Cucumber. This is tough. It's like a little bit of tomato, carrot, there's some seeds probably from the cucumber. To eat it, you have to take salad and the zebu, put it together on the bread. Oh, and then you break it off. Yeah, because I can eat more with that one. This bread already, oh yeah, it's still warm. I'm gonna get a little bit of zebu, pull it off. Is that enough? That's not enough zebu, man. I'm doing a double zebu. And I hate cucumber. I find it to be revolting. It's the one food I really don't like. But I'm gonna try just a little bit because I think they have some vinegar in here, right? Yeah. Look at that. Are right, you ready? Let's do it, homie. What? No joke. That's ridiculous. The salad makes it all come together. You know, here's the thing. I don't like raw cucumber at all, but I like this where it's just a mild hint of cucumber, but there's like vinegar and sourness and salt and all this other stuff coming in. That kind of freshness mixed with the meat, mixed with this kind of awesome fried chalupa texture on the outside. It's so delicious. Sony liked the Malagasy cucumber. <laughs> So this is the heart of a zebu. Give it a little twist. Put on a little bit of the salad. And look at that. Mm. Zebu has sheep or lamb taste. More of that than it does a uh, beef taste. So there's like that spicy kind of gaminess to the meat. How long have you been coming here? Every Friday. This is a good spot, man. I totally get it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Cause next time we're heading out of Madagascar's capital and into the countryside to see how locals eat in the middle of nowhere. Joel, thank you so much for showing me your spot, for helping me out today. And also he's part of Ramar Tour. They're putting on custom tours everywhere in Madagascar. They help you find the best experiences here and make the most of your time. Honestly, this place was a bit intimidating for me to plan before coming, but they took care of everything. We had a great experience with them and you're gonna see in the videos to come. We did 
question so much. It's gonna blow all of your minds. Your minds will all be blown and it'll blow. It's just, it's really gonna blow. So thank you again, Joel. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace. Peace.